Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here. So yes, I got a little bit of a breaking news opportunity for you. So we all know that energy is a big problem right now with the war going on in Ukraine, but we also know that petroleum is on the rise. But along with that, we also have LNG or liquid natural gas. So I've done a little video for you just take a look, not trying to change anybody's mind, but giving you an opportunity to make money in the market. So if you wanna know what I found out, you sit right there. Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. Love bringing these videos to your attention, especially if it gives you an opportunity to make some money in the stock market. Before we get started, if you're brand new to the channel, by all means, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you'll be alerted to when new videos like this come out. If you like the content, please hit the like button. Also, I want to hear from you. What do you think about these stories as well? So it's, it's all about liquid natural gas or LNG. Let's get right into some stories that I've got for you. Quick stories, U.S. to boost gas supply to the EU in an effort to cut dependence on Russia. So Russia was saying, fine, if you guys want to put all of these sanctions against us, if you want our oil, you've got to pay in rubles. Hmm, not everybody's liking that at all. So in an effort to overcome that, uh, the U.S. is going to boost natural gas supply to the EU. Now, Another story, EU-US strike a LNG deal in a bid to reduce the bloc's dependence on Russian gas. Now, the EU was the last to try to put sanctions on Russia because of their dependence on oil. Now, let's go a little further. Qatar LNG may find its way to Germany. Qatar is one of the biggest uh, exporters of natural gas, along with us and Australia. So if other countries are trying to get their uh, liquid uh, natural gas into the EU, all of this may help to pull them off of the Russian dependency on oil. Now, talk about a couple of stocks. Chenier Energy is one of the big names in LNG. Is this stock a solid choice right now? It goes through the story. We're going to take a look at this. This just came out recently. Uh, another one, a Gas Log Partners. This is a shipping company that moves uh, the LNG all around the world. So this could be a big company in response to what's going on with this as well. So you'll notice that real quickly I'm going through this stuff because it's not something that we don't know about. Energy, petroleum, all of that is going up. But the other side of that is the natural gas aspect. Now, I wanted to take a little deeper look on, into how much gas we export. Look at this little graph. Now, this is as of December 2021, the end of last year. Look at the growth in the natural gas exports, just growing and growing and coming into right now, the U.S. becomes the world's top exporter of liquefied natural gas. That means we have the ability to help the EU out. Thus, the deal was struck for us to boost our export uh, product back out to the EU, followed by Qatar helping them as well. The other third company that's up amongst the leaders is Australia, the three top producers, but the U.S. becomes the top exporter uh, for liquefied natural gas. And then I did, I went out to the EIA, the U.S. Energy Information Administration, uh, natural gas exports grew to record highs in the first half of 2021. So it just goes back a little bit. But look at this and look at where it comes from all over the United States. Uh, we got in Georgia and Texas and Louisiana and uh, Maryland. Uh, and these, we're just growing and growing. And again, I know that this is as of 2021, but the prior story shows that we are now the number one lead exporter of uh, of liquid natural gas in the world right now. So we are able to help out people. Now, there's another aspect uh, to the use of natural gas as well that many of you may or may not know about. We all know that cryptocurrency or crypto mining takes a lot of energy to mine bit, Bitcoin, right? How about this? 
gas to Bitcoin inside ExxonMobil's pilot program to power cryptocurrency mining. Very interesting. And it is a pilot program, but with all of this natural gas and a lot of it gets burned off, we can put this to use in helping to maintain the cost of mining cryptocurrency. So again, many of you may have known about that. Many of you may not. So this is just to bring some light to how important natural gas is right now. So let's get into the software. And we're going to look at a couple of stocks. I've got a few stocks in here. I built a little watch list of about 11 stocks of natural gas stocks. Now, keep in mind that these are petroleum companies as well, but uh, the other part of their business or part of their business is uh, liquid natural gas or LNG. I took this list of 11 stocks. I sorted it by growth. I wanted to find, if I'm going to go down this path, I wanted to find the stocks that had the best upside growth, uh, earnings growth, and starting with ConocoPhillips, Chenier is in here, TTE, Total Energies, Chevron, and Flex LNG. Notice that all of these stocks, uh, you know, they're not super cheap, but they're not super expensive. They all have great upside potential by way of our relative value indicator. Many of them are safe, but they're all buys to holds. Love the earnings growth, all positive earnings. And by VST, these are really good stocks amongst all of the uh, over 9,100 stocks that we track. So let's go take a look at these stocks, put these on a three-month graph. I'm looking at the three and the eight exponential moving average. Look at the earnings per share on ConocoPhillips uh, as earnings per share are growing up. Bottom left, top right, new high over the last three months. RT, volume could be better, but at least it's pretty steady. Let's go to the next one, LNG, Chenier. Again, one of the one of the premier names in this space is LNG or Chenier Energy. Bottom left, top right, steady volume. Now, I'm watching the earnings per share fall a little bit, but the earnings growth is still sitting at 36% a year. Uh, now, I like this one because it's a little less expensive, sitting at $51. I like that uh, this stock has found the level of a base or floor of $48.84. The 3 and the 8 just crossed, broke through a level of resistance. It's got some upside. I'm noticing that the earnings per share is starting to grow right now. That's a positive sign. Move from a sell to a hold. This is something I would keep my eye on. I regards, wow, Chevron is a company we all know about. The 3 and the 8 just crossed again recently. Volume is steady. Studying out, but look at that earnings per share. Look at the stocks in an uptrend. And the last one, wow, fling. Look at that. Last few days really ramping up. The lowest dollar stock in this list, approaching a new three month high. I really like this on rising volume and earnings per share growing as well. All right, with all of that, folks, uh, that's what I wanted to bring to the table for you today. That natural gas could be a great buying opportunity right now. Keep your eyes on it. But if uh, we're trying to help people get off of the dependence on Russian oil, this could be a great way. EU is already signing on board. And again, here's five stocks for you to keep your eyes on. Folks, this video is over. And until the next time, see ya. Yeah.